In this lecture, we shall be creating the login script to allow the registered user sign into the system. We shall also create the logout script, then also control the access on this uh, index page. Uh, for example, if the user is already logged in, then they should not see this test. So when the user is logged in, we're only going to show this part of the test, which is you are currently logged in as, then we display the name of the user here, then the logout button will be here. So let's uh, continue now to program our login script. So the very first thing I want to do here, I will add a name control here. And I will just assign a value of login btn for convention sake. Okay, so next I'll go to sections.php and here I'm just going to simply start a section. So say session start. So what this we do is basically allow us to store users information using PHP super global section variables. So that will enable us to keep track if the user is logged in and also to remember the user's information. So next we're going to go to the login page take this. Then at the very top, we're going to start passing our PHP script. Okay. We need to first of all, include our section script. So we include one. Will be sections in resource folder so we'll go to resource look for sections.php next we want to include our database connection script include once resource database.php and the last one would be to include our utilities.php file so that we can reuse some of the functions that we wrote in the last lecture so utilities all right now we have our section script included here we have our database script included here we have the utilities also included here so next we're going to check if the login button is clicked so if this button is clicked, we want to process the form. And like before, the first thing we need to do is to validate, validate the form. Start by initializing our array to, to hold errors. So we call this form errors once again. So equals to empty array. Okay, so next we're just going to make use of the function that we created in our utilities. So we're going to be using uh, this function to check if the fields are empty. Okay, so now we're going to define our required feeds. So say required feeds. Equals an array. We're going to say username is required. So username, password is required. Password. So next, we're going to say form errors equals array merge. Remember from our last lecture, I explained what we're doing here. We're basically merging one array to another using the PHP array merge functions. So we are merging the error arrays here to the value that will be returned when we do the validation. So we say check empty feeds. We're going to check empty feeds, then we're going to pass in a array of empty feeds. Okay, that's done. Next, we are going to check if form error array is empty meaning there was no error found we're going to check if user exists in the database 
otherwise we are going to display our error messages so like we did before we just say if the count of form errors is equal to one So if count of form error is equal to one, I want to create a result variable here. Store this in a paragraph. So we we'll basically just say there were there was actually there was one error in the form so we'll give a bit of style here set the color to red okay otherwise if the count of the errors in the form errors array is actually greater than one we're going to see error array equals the where okay so we say the where then display the actual number of errors in the form okay that handles the error part of our form let's just go over to our form and test this out to see how it will uh, look like so scroll down to login form at the top here we want to check for our error variable so check our results here so we say if it said result then we just want to echo results we're also going to check for the number of errors returned in the uh, form errors arrays using our show error function so again that's one of the beauty of uh, creating functions we can actually easily reuse them in different places in our programs so we're going to check if it's empty actually if it is not empty if the form error array is not empty we just want to call that function we're going to echo show errors then we pass it the form errors arrays so basically this will take care of our validation for a login script and i just noticed here that we've not added the name control here so we're going to say name equals username and here we're going to say name equals password save so here what we're doing we have included the scripts we're creating an empty error arrays. We've specified the feed that the user must uh, provide. And then we are actually calling our functions here to check if these feeds are actually provided. So if they're not provided, we're going to actually display our error messages. So let's see how this will look like in the browser. We'll go over to the login page and let me refresh this. So as I suspected, there's going to be an error here, login BTN, undefined in this login BDN. But meanwhile, you can see here that our validation is working correctly. There were two errors in the form. Username is a required feed. Password is a required feed. So why are we getting this error at the top? Uh, this would be basically because if you come here, we're just checking to see if post, if there is a post of login BDN. So actually what we're supposed to do is to say if it is set, so to ensure that if that button is clicked, so if that button is clicked, only then we want to actually process the form. You also notice that the open and close bracket for the if statement here is not wrapping this other part of the code. So I'm going to copy it and paste it here to ensure that everything wraps into this if statement. So we'll go over to the browser and uh, do a refresh. We'll click and now we see that there were two errors in the form. So this error message only show when this button is being uh, clicked. 
So now that I have done our basic validation, let's go ahead to do the next step, which would be to check if the user actually exists in the uh, database. So actually, before we check if the user exists, we need to actually collect the information from the form. So come here and say collect form data. You can just call this user it should be equal to whatever is in the username feed. Then we say password equal to post of password. So next we check the database to see if the information the user have provided here exists in our database. So we create our SQL statement, SQL query equals to select all from users table where the username is equal to the username that was provided. Okay, so we prepare this using PDO prepared statement. So we're going to say statement equals DB prepared SQL query. Next, we're going to execute the statement and we pass in the parameters. So here we have binded the username and it's going to be equal to the variable which we collected here, users. So next, we're going to actually check if there was any row return from the statement that was just executed. So we're going to say if rows equals statement fetch. So if there was any row returned, that means the username actually exists in the database. So we're going to say the ID of the user should be equal to the role which contains the ID. ID equals role of ID. We're going to actually get the asked password. So equals role password. So lastly, we're going to get the username equals role username. Okay, now that we have this information, we can actually verify the password using the PHP password verify function. So we want to verify if the asked password, which was stored in the database, is actually equal to the password that the user is entering here when it is decrypted. So we say uh, password verify, we specify the password which the user has entered now. Then we actually specify the asked password. So we say asked password. So if this statement returns true, then we're going to know that the password is correct. So what we do, we create section variables to hold the uh, information about this user. So we say section ID equals to the user ID. Then we say section username equal to the username. Then we're going to redirect the user to the home page. So we specify the header location to be equal to index.php. So this will basically redirect the user to the index page. So if this statement returns a false value, then we want to actually display an error message. We'll store it in result and say result equals to going to open a paragraph, we'll close the paragraph. Then I'll give this style and say padding should be 20. The color should be red and the border should be one pieces solid gray. Then in here, we'll just put a string invalid username or password. So let's try this out in the browser and see how this will work out. So come here and say demo two. I think if you remember the password was testing. So we are actually redirected to the home page. So now we are going to work on this home page to hide these parts of the page and only display this part of the page. So let's go back to uh, index file. So basically what we are doing here, we're just going to check to see if the username section variable is actually set. If it is set, then we want to hide this paragraph. So let me show you how we can achieve that. So we're going to say if it's not set, section username. So if section username is not set, 
that is only when you should uh, display this otherwise if the section username is set we want to display something else as we're going to uh, display this uh, part so we end our if statement and if so the last thing that we want to do now is to actually display the name of the user here so we're going to say if section of username is set we're going to echo the section username so that's all we need for the index page if we go over to the browser and uh, refresh we should see here that you are currently okay something went wrong and i'm um, suspecting in our index page we have not included the section so we just include it here include once resource section dot php okay so if we come over here again and refresh so we should see the correct thing now you are logged in as demo2 then the link here to logout so next we're going to code our logout script we we'll go over to the logout.php what we're going to do here is basically include our section so include once resource section.php so here what we're going to do is just destroy the section using php section destroy function and then we redirect the user back to the index page so that's all basically we need for our logout script so if we go over to the browser and click on logout we see that the user is redirected back to the index page and now we can see you are currently not signed in and a button to enable the user login if we click here and enter the username again demo2 password so now we see that you are logged in as demo2 logout so basically this is the concluding part of our series user authentication creating a basic login system with a php i hope you have enjoyed yourself in this series feel free to drop in your questions and i'll be here to respond to them